So we are making progress on the area for the girls right now. I've got some clean nesting materials for the girls that I'm gonna put in. And then once I get that set in there, I'll show you what we've gotten done so far. All right, so we now have two coops to ensure that our girls have plenty of space, that they're not stressed out. We've got two hanging water buckets that are automatically watering and two feed buckets as well. They can stick their heads into. We've got dust bath that's gonna be coming in soon. Um, they've got nesting pads in their boxes. Show you what we got going. Plenty of roosting space and everything in both. Um, these two coops are exactly the same. So they will be used to the setup already due to the fact that they've been in the old one. Well, not old one, they're both brand new, but this one has been put together for a little over a week, week and a half. Um, so they've been staying in that one. And then now they're gonna have this one that's the exact same. We suspect that the um, three pure leghorns that we're laying are actually molting. Their feathers are looking a little rough. There are feathers all over the chicken run. And I noticed one the other day has a big bald spot and then another one has a bald spot starting. So I'm pretty sure they're molting and that's why they've stopped laying. Um, but we did get five eggs, no, seven eggs from them um, in the first few days and then they started to molt. I'm attributing the molting to stress related um, due to the move and new area, new people. So we're gonna give them some time. We're just giving them extra protein in the meantime and um, trying to make them as comfortable with us as possible. So far, I think it's going well because our second in command rooster, we're calling him Red, um, has been mating the girls less than a foot away from us without issue. And the head rooster, Big John, has let me reach out and pet him a few times. Um, so I, I think that's a win. Um, I'm trying not to chase them around, but it's hard to get them to go into the coop, even with food going in the coop. So um, we're just doing the best that we can, trying to get them comfortable with us for now. The uh, guineas seem to be doing well. It looks like one of them at least might be molting, both maybe. I haven't done a whole lot of research on guineas, but that's one. And then there's the other one. Their feathers are looking a little bit rough. Nothing too bad though. Um, that white one is really flighty. <laughs> Just takes off running and flying all over the place and spazzing out. It's kind of funny to watch. By the way, any idea on if these are male or female? Like I, I'm really having a hard time telling. I'm wondering, now that I'm looking at that white one, I'm wondering if maybe it's a male and that's why it's been so all over the place. I don't know. But I mean, you can kind of see it's really red in the face. It's got the little things hanging off of it. I, I don't know. Anyone know about guineas can tell me. They're about eight to 10 months old is what I was told when I got them. Um, but anyway, everybody seems to be settling in really nicely. I'm very happy with what I'm seeing and uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of signs of stress other than the molting. Um, the ladies seem to really love hanging out in the shade, um, in the coops, outside of the coops, all of that. They're not panting a whole lot now that the weather has cooled off and they've got plenty of water to, to access constantly. So I think we're doing well. Um, let me show you one of the molting ones. I think you can kind of see that one's feathers are a little bit patchy here and there. And then that one's looking a little rough, the one walking around. There's another one somewhere. But yeah, um, the ones with the black spots are Leghorn and Dominique mix. That's what I was told. There's Red, strutting his stuff. And there's Big John in there, hanging out with one of the hens, scratching around. And I think the more traditional colored guinea, we're gonna call Gwynny. And the other one we're gonna call Spaz because the white one is just all over the place, like I said. Um, so Gwynny and Spaz, and then Red and Big John. 
I don't have names for the other girls. I'm really not sure what to call them. Um, but yeah, so we're excited. The next step is repurposing this frame that we were going to originally use for the coop. Um, but we very quickly realized that with my husband's heart and back issues and with my bad asthma issues, um, it just was not gonna be realistic for us to build a whole coop in the hot weather that we were having. So we went ahead and switched gears, bought ourselves a run in the two chicken coops. Um, and now we're gonna repurpose that as a shed to put the food and um, other supplies in for the birds. Um, and then we've got a big old barrel here that we're gonna use for their food bin. Smells like there was paint thinner in it, but what we're gonna do is clean it out really well and um, put a bag in it to put the food in. So we're gonna put the food directly into it. Um, but we're gonna have to air it out because it's pretty gnarly smelling. This is what it looks like right now. We need to clean it out. It looks pretty darn nasty in there. Uh, there's definitely some liquid in there still. I think that's water. But it's got one of the ring lids on it, so it's pretty tight. It just wasn't sealed when we picked it up. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna wash it out, air it out, put a bag in it, and keep their food in that bag. But anyway, that's the update I've got right now. Um, I'll keep you all up to date.